BoxingScene.com with super middleweight by way of New Jersey, Omar Shika. Shika, what's the latest with you, baby? No, I'm just hopefully trying to get a fight in January and um, start rolling from there and hopefully get a big fight on on HBO in March against Alan Green. Yeah, it's, it's no secret you've been calling out the big names, uh, Peter Manfredo, Alan Green. Uh, you want to get in the ring again with Jeff Lacey. Tell us about that. Well, of course, I want to fight the best that's out there. I believe um, to prove the, to prove you're the best and to prove to the fans that you know that I don't talk anybody. I want to fight the best that people believe there are, there are out there. Right. You you spoke about fighting Peter Manfredo, who fought Scott Pemberton after he had two wars with you. You felt Scott was done. Of course, I believe Scott was done after the two fights for me. Then he gets knocked out by Lacey. I don't believe you know. I believe if I fight Pemberton now, I can knock him out with a jab. So. He gets no credit for me for being a guy like um, Hamilton after what I did to him. So, Manfredo's another guy who I'm trying to fight, but I believe his team is trying to protect him and trying to fight nobody. They're like Gaspina. Who the hell is Spina, you know? And then Pemberton, they're making a big thing out of nothing. So, when he fights someone like myself or somebody in the top, then I can give him a little respect. Alan Green has been doing well in this come up. Um, he's someone you seem interested in fighting. What do you think about him as a prospect? I, I respect Alan Green because I believe that um, he's willing to fight anybody. I don't see that he's ducking nobody. So, um, but I believe that um, me and him will be a, a terrific fight, it'll be a war, and I'm, I'm looking forward to um, to challenging that fight with Alan Green. So, if, if Alan Green decides not to fight you, and Manfredo seems to be going another route, what will you do now? Well, I don't know. I leave that up to my um, attorney, Mike Burrow, and um, whatever decision he comes with. But I believe that. Um, in order to fight, um, you know, to, to get to the top and fight the best, they got to come my way to prove anything. So I believe we're going to land a big shot, a big fight with one of these guys. When we watch you come up, you fought the best. You fought those that were there. You gave it your all. What does that say about the difference between you and these guys now? Well, basically, the heart. It all plays about heart. You know, that they, they try to take the easy way to the top. And believe it or not, you know, nobody's going to respect you that way. So... To get to the top, you got to fight the toughest, man. Or fight the, what people want to see you fight, you know, the tough challenges. So what separates basically is hard, man. It's, they're afraid and I'm not. So, Omar, is there anything you want to say to your fans and the viewers all around the world of BoxingScene.com? I want to thank Boxing Scene for having me and um, look forward in January and hopefully in March and you'll see me back in action. Omar, we appreciate your time. Thank you very much.